There was a lot of bugs that was pretty game breaking. I don't think I don't think there's a lot of bugs these days that's really game breaking. It's mostly like haha, funny, funny character pose or something like that. But in the beginning of the game, there were bugs that was really game breaking. Like there was a bug where it allowed you to escape the boundaries. If you were like out of the boundaries, the game would push you back, right? You know, the classic, let's explore this area later, right? Even if Paimon pushes you back, if you had like an action like rolling with Seiyu or something like that, that pushed you too far, it'll actually actually teleport you back into the map in the beginning of the game they didn't have that so if you got out of the boundaries you were able to just stay outside the boundaries forever that allowed some interesting interactions like in the beginning of the game you could have escaped the boundary without talking to paimon and your character would end up with no elements i think those accounts still exist you just have the traveler with no elements but you are able to like unlock all the all the nations what's outside the boundaries it's just the map it's just like map that's like not really you know fully rendered and then shanling's uh shanling's q was bugged as well surprise surprise if you use shanling's q and teleport to a teleport waypoint get this the duration of her q gets added to your previous duration the full duration of her q gets added to your previous duration if you kept spamming teleport on a teleport waypoint you could literally have shanling's q up for like hours which coincidentally during that time had an event that basically allowed you to kill a set of monsters and then have shallings where the fuck even is this by the way there was an event that allowed you to kill a set of monsters and it would instantly charge her burst the rotation was use her burst teleport away teleport back kill the monsters use her burst again and this loop will allow you to stack her burst and you would literally have like 150 pyronados surrounding you for like hours i know because i have a video on it show you guys you want me to show you my own video if you use it once pyronado lasts you know the normal duration like 14 seconds 15 seconds but if you do this but if you do this use her pyronado and teleport back see how long it lasts watch Twenty two seconds. So you just kept doing this over and over again. And you could just literally just run around the entire map with a pyronado. This is not the best part. The best part is what happens when you combine it with the events that was happening during this time. So back in the day, there was this event that allowed you to, you know, kill a set of monsters. It's like a normal like domain, but it's like outside. And you were able to just abandon the event. Kill a, kill a bunch of monsters, get your pyronado back, and then teleport back to the waypoint a bunch of times to refresh the duration of all your pyronados. And you could have just done this. It takes a really long time, but eventually you get this. I mean, it's been patched now, but you know. yeah, this was fun. Back in the day when Genshin Impact was fun, you know? Yeah, the bugs these days aren't exactly game-breaking. It's not as fun. It's not as fun these days. I think their QA is getting a bit better. <laughs>